Uh, Cody, just your general thoughts, I guess, on this one. <clears throat> You know, I'm actually proud of the team, the way they came out and fought in the second half. You know, we, we did a good job of, you know, knowing that it wasn't over and, and we had to go out and play some good football in the second half. Once again, you know, penalties killed us and, and killed some of our drives offensively. But I think uh, you can see that there's still fight left in this team and, and we're not going to give up that easy. You only threw the ball, I think, seven times in the first half. Was it a little frustrating to not be a little more... Uh, you know, not try to open it up a little bit more? Uh, you know, I don't know if as much as frustrating as, you know, confidence-wise, confidence, confidence -wise, you would like to get some completions going into halftime. But, you know, that was our game plan is we wanted to go in and, and really go behind our union. And, you know, we did a great job. The offense line did a great job tonight. It was just the fact that we got some penalties in some wrong situations. And once again, third and long, second and long killed us. Did you guys get, um, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, did you get some, um, um, that's the right word, did, what the defense did on fourth down, you know, stopping those guys on fourth down a lot, did that fire you guys up? Yeah, it gave us a lot of confidence, you know, knowing that the defense isn't going to give up, and that's a, a really good offense that they went up against, and, you know, they got a really good defense as well. But we knew when <clears throat> our defense was playing the way they were and getting us the ball back, you know, that, that's a great feeling as an offense. You got off to that really nice start with the touchdown run by Kendall, and then you just talked about that play. Uh, the Kendall block touchdown? Yeah. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> we knew all week that we were going to just, the backs got to hit the hole, got to hit the hole right up the middle. And Kendall did a great job. Don Jackson did a great job. Chris Solomon did a great job all week of just hitting the hole. And we knew that we were going to get our chance. And once we got it, we had to break one. And, and he finally did. And do you have any idea what happened after that? Why the, why the run game tended to? Slow down, uh, the middle anyway. I yeah, towards the middle, I feel like just a little bit, but I feel like the rip run game, as far as the read game stuff, that was good uh, to, to get some more of those calls in. That was good for us and offensively, you know, getting some more confidence for me, pulling the ball and getting some big runs, kind of how it used to be. <clears throat> you guys have six losses now. You can't afford any more to keep that bowl thing alive. Does that, does that? Does that enter your mind at all? You know, it puts some pressure on us, obviously, but the, the main goal is to get a bowl and we got to win out. And you're not counting the losses, you're counting the wins. So we got four games left and hopefully win them all four or three games. Three games left. Did you feel more comfortable keeping the ball in the read options because you're feeling better or they just how they were defending you guys? You know, I, f I feel like I feel a lot better, obviously, in, in the run game. We haven't done it, the read game stuff, we haven't done it in a while. So I feel like they didn't prepare as much as they thought that we were going to run it. And so there are some holes there for me, and the receivers did a great job on the perimeter, and, and I executed some, some big runs tonight. It seemed like you were able to throw the ball a lot more effectively in the second half. Was that because you guys had kind of set the tone with the run in the first half, or, or what was that about? You know, that definitely helped. Anytime you can get your run game going, your pass game is going to be a lot better. But when you're struggling and you're third and long, and everyone knows that you're going to pass, it's pretty hard to pass. You guys got within a score there. I mean, what was kind of the feeling, you know, in the second half when you were within striking distance? You know, we were happy. We had a lot of confidence. We're like, look, we can hang with these guys. We've played against top-ranked opponents before, so we knew that, you know, we can hang in with the best of them. And, you know, credit to them. They obviously made more plays than we did, and they're a great football team. And not a win, but do you feel like this was a step in the right direction, you know, for the last three games of the year? I think it, it was definitely good just to see that we're still fighting. You know, guys aren't packing up their stuff and, and giving up. And, and that's good for me to see. And I know other players and coaches just to know that we're still going to fight and we're still going to give our best effort.